Zamfara State Police Command recently embarked upon a special joint patrol as part of strategy to provide a conducive atmosphere for peaceful conduct of the forthcoming 2023 general election in all parts of the state. Public Relations Officer of the Command, Superintendent of Police Mohammed Shehu, says that the patrol is yielding the desired results as he parades some suspected criminals who have been allegedly terrorizing people of Zamfara and some other neighboring states. Surprisingly and unfortunately, one of the suspects, Thomas Yao, confessed that sometimes last year he must have minded the kidnapping of his own mother and three others. As a result of the kidnapping, they collected the sum of 30 million naira from the relations as a lesson. And in turn, he was given 1 million naira as his share. Also paraded is a 30-year-old lady from Kaurnamu, the town of Zamfara State, who allegedly specializes in supplying AK-47 rifles and live ammunition to bandits. Police detectives arrested the above-mentioned female gun runner in possession of 325 rounds of live ammunition. Following the intelligence information obtained about her movement with the set exhibit from Latvia in Nasrallah State to a notorious bandit scheme. Forest. Another parade suspect is a middle-aged man who is said to have engaged in selling registered SIM cards to criminals. Exhibits recovered from the suspect include a bunch of live ammunition, more than 1,000 registered SIM cards and some champs, even as they have all confessed to the crimes. Meanwhile, tactical operatives of Zamfara State Police Command have recovered one rocket launcher while on a stop and search operation, but its suspected carrier escaped. In Gusau, Jamilu Ibrahim. NTA News.